Hello, this is Pastor Scott Cruz with The Deeper Rock. Every Sunday, 10 a.m., we are at West Acre Cinema. I hope to see you there. God is doing some really neat things. Uh, September 8th, we are going to be doing a full-blown ministry there with full children's ministry and a band. And uh, so I just want to invite you to be a part of that. Today, our reading is Acts chapter 1, verses 1 through 10. And this is, Silver and gold have I none. Verse 4, Peter and John looked at him intently. And Peter said, Look at us. The lame man looked at them eagerly, expecting some money, but Peter said, I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I'll give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. What an awesome verse. A couple of things. Number one, Jesus looked at him. I believe that in our churches and in our society and, and good Christian people, one of the main problems that we have in loving people is we don't see them. You know, you come to church and you shake hands with the same four people that you've shaken hands with the last 10 years, and, and you look around and, and you've already got your friends. You've already got your social needs met. You don't need any more friends. You don't, you don't have the same kind of needs. And so this person comes in, and it's not that you don't love Jesus. You, we just don't see them. We don't see the people on the outside that don't have anybody talking to them yet. We don't see the ones who, who have those needs. We just don't see them. So I want to encourage you, whether you're going to work, whether you're going to school, whatever it is, look around and start seeing people that you can love. Start seeing needs that you can bless and begin to pour into those people and pour into that blessing because maybe your needs are met, but those theirs aren't. And Peter and John, they had to look at him, you know. Um, Peter and John looked at him intently. Look at the people around you. Number two, Jesus, or Peter rather, gave the beggar what he needed, not what he asked for. Silver and gold I don't have. You don't need silver and gold. You're going to eat that up today. But what I'm going to give you is the ability to walk so that you can be the one to get your own silver and gold. And there have been lots of books written, and, and a lot of wisdom needs to be used. And how do I best love somebody? How do I best help them? And what the, that often means, whether you're dealing with your kids, whether you're dealing with people at work, whether you're dealing with who you're going to give to financially, give them what they need, not always what they want. And that, that takes a lot of wisdom and a lot of humility, uh, but it's important and it's scriptural. Third, use wisdom in how and when you give. You know, when you give, do it in a way that is long term, that isn't going to make that person uh, dependent upon you in the future. So, silver and gold I have none, but what I have, I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. May the Lord richly bless you, and I hope to see you in church on Sunday.